We're back at the show for day five. We're back here in the hall for the independence. We got here a few minutes early and we're hoping to be able to check out the blue HM7 from MBNF. We saw the gold black tone one earlier in the week and we've been kind of hankering to see the blue one while we're here with the cameras and everything. Why not, right? area uh, to see Parmigiani. They've got a couple new uh, like sports watches that look pretty great so excited to see those and then we have you know a day full of meetings but uh, let's get in and check out whatever Parmigiani's got in store for us. It's a wrap at Parmigiani, and we're gonna head to Audemar Piguet. They've got some pretty cool Royal Oak stuff this year that's uh, high on my list of stuff to see. All right, so that's AP sorted. Man, so, so many watches. Lot, a lot of SKUs this year. Lots of color, lots of uh, precious metals, but uh, we're gonna show as much as we can. And of course, go by uh, blogtowatch.com and the Instagram to see even more. I have no idea what's next, but I am gonna have some food before we get there. All right, so lunch, eaten, drinks, drank, all that's done. What's next? Uh, right now we're off to Western Constantine to see the, uh, whatever it's called, it's a Celestia, some sort of super complication with over 20 complications. Yeah, we missed it earlier this week, so yep. we're going back for round two. Yeah, we need to take some images and video for you guys, and then we are going to Jura Perigo because they have some really cool stuff too. Oh yeah, don't want to miss GP. Audemars Piguet outfitted us with some scarves and this toque that I'll never wear again. But we had a good day, handful of meetings, saw some really neat stuff from GP. I really like that world timer, the 1966 WW.TC. And now I think we're actually taking some meetings just kind of on another part of Geneva. So tag along, more in store. Sorry, one thing that I'm laughing at is Ariel and Marco trying to show it. He's trying to cross the street. 
They've been standing there for a long time and nobody's <laughs> letting them cross. It's ridiculous the difficult to cross the train here. Anyway, there okay, are not so we took we took a bus from Pal Expo and we're we've come down to the waterfront in Geneva where all the hotels are and a bunch of the other brands kind of show off in the various hotels. So we're going to the uh, Kempinski behind us here to uh, chat with Hublot and see what they've got unlocked for uh, the next year. So, like I said, always more in store. Let's get in there. It's chilly outside, eh? Oh yeah, let's go. Hublo for our meeting and we're gonna attempt to put the GoPro up here. Okay, so we just closed up with Hublot. Man, you never know what to expect from that brand. They've got so many crazy things. Furry watches, sapphire watches, watches made out of pretty much any hard material that you can imagine. And sure, maybe they're a little divisive, but it's always wild, which I respect after seeing some really not so compelling watches throughout the week. Just stuff that looks like stuff I saw last year or the last five years. So up next is Bulgari, but it's at a different hotel, so we gotta go out in the cold. Okay, so sit report. I, we fully intended to record like some sort of an outro or ending clip for today's episode, but we went to dinner, which always goes late in this town, and then we uh, came back and just had to get to work, and then before I knew it, it was uh, 3 a.m., so I still have to put this clip into the vlog, export it, upload it, etc. So this is my sign-off for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. It's been um, a really fun experiment, more work than I expected maybe, but uh, really fun. And I really appreciate all the likes and the views and the comments and, and the feedback. So we'll be back at it tomorrow. Hopefully we'll remember to do an ending clip. But uh, for now, I'm, I'm going to sign off and uh, get some sleep. See you tomorrow.